When it comes to certain stories in scripture, it is easy to become skeptics. Too often, we leave little room for the ineffable, the mysterious, the non-rational. On the day Zechariah took his turn to offer incense in the Holy of Holies, something strange and mysterious took place. Suddenly, the angel Gabriel appeared to him and said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. When St. Matthew speaks about God communicating directly with men and women, he speaks of dreams. When St. Luke speaks of the same thing, he prefers angels as the messengers. Call it what you will, but what is important here is that there was communication and interaction between heaven and earth. A new language only few could speak. A common ordinary everyday religious occurrence became for Zechariah and his wife an occasion for an advent between God and their lives. Right away the skeptics rush in. They know it all. Zechariah was up in years. It could have been a case of nerves, butterflies. He was emotionally overcome. He lost his voice. No angel Gabriel. It was in his mind and all psychosomatic. Our deepest spiritual experiences are ineffable. They can always be put into words. Maybe it was just as well that Zechariah couldn't speak since he couldn't have explained it anyway to those who would not understand it. You and I speak a language that many in our world do not speak. As we approach the birth of our Lord, let us try to teach them so that they can learn it too.